let us now move forward and also incorporate the other set of uh, inputs something like age and uh, let's see how it goes so I may want the age so I will uh, change this to age and obviously uh, I may want to change the fonts so as to look similar to name and 12 okay so this is the age and I want to also include the age text box so that it can be included for uh, various conditions please note that when I click on text box the property for text box also opens up this is called as text box 1 and the second one which we had created that is called as text box number 2 okay now in addition to these you know you will also note that you have something like a command button so let's say after we have accepted the name and the age uh, we wanted to just print the name and the age so a uh, kind of possible when we have the command button so let's have this command button and uh, again when we select this and drop it on the user form the properties of this user form actually gets displayed you can change a lot many things you can change the caption uh, caption is nothing but what is displayed here in the user form so let's say print and uh, you can play with the fonts you can you may want to kind of change the color so let me let me do that for the timing maybe uh, put a dark one here okay so let us see how how this looks like as of now so I go back to uh, sheet 2 and uh, click on sheet 1 and as you can see that you know it, the user form allows us for the two inputs let's say David and uh, the ages 25 and it allows us to kind of click here but as you can see when we are clicking on this print option there's nothing happening as such because this is what we have just done we just created a user form and at the back end you know we have not written any code for it to get executed so another thing that is uh, yet to be done is that when we print it let's say a message box should come saying that hi David your age is 25 so something of that sort actually should come into picture so let's go back uh, into the coding language editor and click on the user form and this is the place where we have our uh, full user form now what do I want I want that when I print it should display the name as well as the age so and this should happen when we click on print button so I want you to kind of write some code within this print option the easiest way to access the code inside this command button is to double click on the selected print command I just need to double click so the moment we double click you can see that you are taken into a subroutine which says command button 1 underscore click so let me get out of this what is the name of this print button the name of the print button is command button 1 so let me change this as well print name age so let me just uh, change the name and let us now go back and double click here and see what is the command the subroutine that is formed so now the subroutine is print name age underscore click so I may not want the old one I'll delete this and I may want to write some code here okay so what would be the code code is basically that accept this take this and print it so I'll, I'll probably you know uh, teach you how we can do this we need to define a couple of variables and whatever is the value that is stored in text box number one and text box number two should be defined to those variables so say for example name so let's say we have taken input name this is equal to we'll write this as text box one dot value so as you I'll, I'll just go back and show you what is text box one uh, form here the name which is inputted by the user its name is text box one so whatever is the value which is stored here should get assigned to this input name as variables that's what I'm doing here okay now let me take the second one input age this is equal to text box 
two dot value. Okay, so I have not done anything fancy. Any input which is given in those text box, it need to be assigned to these variables. Now, the last thing that I must do is to display these two. Okay, so I can do that. Uh, I can do that using the message box. You remember we had earlier looked at message box msg box and it displays whatever you want to display. So uh, let's say msg box and you want to display the input name. Say for example you want to do that first. Okay, so let's say input name. So what do you think will be the answer when you click on this print name age button? it will display just the input name. So let's check if this code is working fine till now and then we'll move forward. I'll go back to sheet 2, click on sheet 1. Let's say uh, I'll name David age 25 and I'll click on print. So the moment I click on print, can you see this is basically the message box. It just prints the name and not the age because I'm just calling only one part. Okay. Now let's say I want to actually call the other uh, other things as well, maybe uh, the age as well, right? So we wanted an input like this, Dave, uh, David, your age is 25 or your age is whatever you have inputted. So let's put it this way. Uh, if you want to have other set of things here, first we need to stop this, go to reset, click on print. Now that we can edit the code, go inside this message box and this can be done using an AND button. Okay, So if you are referring to a variable, this would help us to input the name because this is a variable and you want to write something else as well. Now what do I want to write? I can write this as your age is and what do I want to write is basically age. So this would be input age. And uh, guess what? This is what about it? So this is how we can kind of complete our code. I've just written and because I want to display the name and this. So whatever you write in the inverted commas will come in your message box. And again an and because I wanted to show the age as well. So let's see if this works or it will require some debugging. So I'll go to sheet 2, click here. I'll provide the inputs. Nixon, age 53, click on print. And as you can see, it, it displays Nixon, your age is 53. So obviously there are some formatting issues which you can kind of take care of. Uh, so let me, let me do that. I can have some more spaces in between. So see, the moment I go into my Visual Basic editor, I am unable to kind of, you know, do anything because I am not inside this environment or code. I must reset this first, click on print again, and now I will be able to edit my code. Okay. So this is how you can edit the code. I've just inserted a couple of spaces here and let's go back and do it again. David. 65 print and now it is perfect. So this is how you can actually insert and use text box using a user form.